This conference will now be recorded. Hi hey guys, uh, good morning. Uh, let me start the session. Let me share my screen. Yeah. So, hope you can able to view my screen, right? Fine. So, uh, let me start uh, today's session. So today we are going to discuss about Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps demo, Azure DevOps demo. So exactly here uh, we need to uh, look into two things. Okay, here Azure different and uh, DevOps is different. What is this DevOps and Azure? Okay, so in this uh, entire course, okay, let me introduce myself. So I am Babu. Okay, I am Babu. I have around uh, 15 plus years of experience. IT and uh, I started my career with uh, Java and uh, J2W technologies. Uh, there I worked for around uh, you know five plus years of experience. I worked here there five plus years and later I moved to uh, DevOps and cloud uh, skill set like DevOps and cloud technology. So my here I have around you know 10 plus yeah. years of experience. Ten plus years of experience into the Watts and cloud. Okay, and I'm working as a uh, SME uh, role as a subject matter expert in one organization, MNC. Okay, so this is my uh, skill set and my background. So now uh, coming to exactly what is uh, my expertise, my skill set. I am very good experience with all DevOps uh, major tools and uh, what are all popular trending tools in the market, uh, including starting with Git and Jenkins, especially into Docker, right? Especially into Docker and uh, Kubernetes and uh, OpenShift and Terraform. I have very good experience with Terraform also and. Uh, Monitoring and uh, blogging tools like Promothesis, right? Promothesis and uh, Grafana. Yeah, a little bit sometimes, you know, a long back I worked with Ansible also, right? So this is my, uh, you know, a major uh, skill set uh, where I worked, uh, like, you know, from past, you know, 10 years. I have very good experience all these things, especially into this part, okay? So containerization, Docker, Kubernetes, and uh, along with OpenShift. Okay, this is my core DevOps skill set along with multi cloud experience, right? Multi cloud experience, including Azure, that is my you know, uh, core uh, cloud experience. And along with, I have good exposure with AWS and as well as GCP sometimes, right? So, and Alibaba Cloud, some other, you know, so IBM Cloud. So, it's uh, sometimes very like, you know, uh, less experience on these things but i have uh, experience with this skill this is my exact you know skill set what i have uh, from past uh, uh, decade i am working with this skill set right now so coming to our course here there are you know uh, there are three things here three parts i can say three parts in the sense so as a like you know so for learning this the first question would be so so who is like you know eligible uh, who are all eligible uh, for this particular learning this course okay so all are eligible why because all are eligible so don't like you know uh, like uh, don't feel that uh, 
uh, you don't have any experience on you know you are not from a technical background or uh, uh, something like you no know, not technical background or you are from you know some uh, mba or you are from some other btech or mtech civil engineer or mechanical or some electronics so if you don't have any uh, like you know previous or past experience also right you will be like you know you are the eligible person to learn this technology why because here the beauty of tech, beauty of you know this devops and cloud is uh, like simple this is kind of a combination of multiple tools okay so if you are like you know if you go to interview or if you are like somewhere like you know so if you want to become expertise in all these tools is not possible not only you even myself also but see i i have expertise in this tomorrow if someone ask me to work with some other uh, tool then definitely like you know uh, i need to learn so that's why focus on uh, like market trending tools and uh, like you know build your career accordingly and the next question what uh, will arise uh, in our like you know uh, like in your mind like you know i don't have any coding knowledge right so i don't have any coding knowledge so what is like you know coding knowledge up to what which level this coding coding knowledge is required here actually the thing is here i can say i worked for you know uh, java 5 years i know the pain of java okay uh, so when you start writing the code completely it's like you know lemon english and with uh it's not uh, no uh, loopings and all you need to like you know uh think about continuously like about the logic and all so that is kind of your uh, hectic okay so definitely you should brain your you should break your brain so but here the thing is the beauty is so here coding means it's not kind of you know uh, it's not like that uh, uh, java uh, or like you know .net or something like that but sometimes you know you should focus on like you know kind of script okay so that uh, that is very minimal okay that you can learn easily okay scripting knowledge okay so that is more than enough to learn i mean to work on this technology so so why am why am like you know uh, i'm saying like you know not learn working on this technology so if you know only 10 10, 10 to 20% of you know 10% or 20% of basics of scripting or uh, any scripting language language like you know it might be shell scripting or it might be like you know powershell uh, or it might be uh, sorry uh, python scripting right so anything but i am not saying so you should become expert on this but if you know minimum 10 20% basics and even below intermediate level that is more than enough to crack the interview of devops so don't worry there is Uh, like you, you are not in like you know uh, for learning devops not required any coding skills but there will be a linux commands is required that to minimum level okay so linux commands so that we are going to cover here don't worry so whatever the uh, commands we require so we are going to uh, linux commands right so this is uh, required okay so that we are going to cover uh, three to four classes don't worry about that so this is exactly uh, like you know uh, the four questions so definitely everybody uh, think about all these things i already answered this so not required so if you are not eligible you are not from any technical background non technical background so they are happily they can learn there is no prerequisite for this okay so and the second thing is not required your any coding knowledge like java dot net nothing so here you are going to minimum requirement of scripting knowledge okay so devops is like always you know think about the tool and all understand the concept and understand the like you know uh, how you are going to implement this how you are going to club all these uh, you know related tools i will explain you clearly just wait for some time because see first i want to clear the questions you should be like confident before uh, like you know uh, understanding this thing so first of all just become be free like you know not required any coding skills and not required like you know that much uh, don't break your head like uh, thinking log logics and all right so this is the thing exactly you should require something linux commands that is the only thing you know, required here especially for learning here for for like you know for you devops course this next two months so you not required not at all required your your education background leave it and your coding skills leave it so these two not at all required for learning this course okay fine the next one is then how can we understand so as a non technical background how can we understand so here my style of you know Uh, explanation my style my style of approach is everything is uh, like you know before going to the concept before going to run the commands even a single command also i am going to explain you concept okay basically what is this concept with you know uh, kind of a uh, 
like ima imagination like a, a kind of a pictorial right you know images so i'm going to give you an uh, like by opening one like you know uh, kind of uh, based on diagrams okay so i'm going to explain so like by using this okay uh, tool and i'm going to explain uh, like the concepts from very clearly first we are going to understand the concept then we are going to implement the concept and right so implement the concept by you any 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 anything it would be like you know scripting and all even though each and every topic i am going to explain you visually so explain i want to use the word visually so if you are not like you know suppose if you go some other institute or some other training institute or some other uh, trainers i don't know so without visualization don't learn devops that is my humble request everything you should ask trainer show me visually okay that is the where you are going to understand suppose if you are not from non technical background this is very very important thing ask ask we need visualization so then only even though if you forgot the like you know even though tomorrow if you go to interviews so if you forgot something about the like you know commands or how to implement that but if you are conceptually like you know visualization right so that will make you like you know uh, more confident and uh, in interviews so why you are here like why you are learning this course not for time pass right so you want a job right so that's why we are here so so better like you know go with visualization and understand the concepts with more like you know better way of you know if you understand clearly then you are in the position at least like even though if you are lagging with communication skills also the interviewer can e easily like you know uh, understand okay you know something right so you are trying to explain and if it is not in the proper way also definitely they will consider you guys okay so that is what my style of you know uh, approach what i am following from past you know uh, like you know all batches what i am what i delivered the classes okay so this is what this is kind of a conceptual based and i am going to then after learning the concepts clearly theory part okay so then we are going to implement this then we are going to if anything real time like you know scenario required that also i am going to add here i am going to show you in use case okay so how you are going to use this particular thing in real time so this is what exactly uh, you are going to uh, learning thing okay so kind of you know visualization and theory and concept implementation that's it the next thing is the big question is labs so how you are going to do labs labs means for your practice so suppose tomorrow we successfully completed uh, classes right daily one one and a half hour classes right so then how you should be practice right so otherwise it's waste of our time right so for attending this uh, like you know classes and all so that's why we need labs so earlier learning devops and you know practicing devops is hectic means it's kind of pathetic situation because it is very difficult to manage this kind of you know uh, provide the environment for in, even in training institutes also right earlier they are going to provide 30 hours or 40 hours of you know some uh, vm boxes for you and after that definitely you people are busy sometimes so you forgot to use that definitely there is no way to practice that so only theory but here the good thing is now we are in cloud era right so we are into cloud era so what is this cloud era means like so yeah that i am going to show you so cloud era especially we are focusing here azure right so azure cloud so here in azure cloud so azure is providing like you know a free account for us not only azure all other cloud service providers we will see what is this cloud don't worry but just in time being i'm saying labs how you are going to like practice yourself okay so we are going to take Azure as a free trial and you are going to create, you know, uh, virtual missions uh, like nothing but layman words, cloud laptops, whatever laptop is you. So we can call it as that is our on premise or that is your personal laptop, what you are now attending the demo, right? The same thing. So we are going to like, you know, use cloud laptops, so which is not available with us, which is available in the cloud. So provided by Azure, right? So this is nothing but the virtual mission, right? So we are going to create the virtual mission and on top of this virtual mission, you are going to run whatever you want so this virtual mission should be linux linux boxes nothing but uh, we are going to use the linux one of the linux flavor is ubuntu right so ubuntu os so this is completely we are going to use all the tools right especially for docker and uh, kubernetes anything you can do linux missions okay kubernetes and terraform okay so this is the th this is the three like you know tools most popular high demand and like you know we will see later after five minutes just wait for some time labs and all how we are going to do 
so this is consider this is imagine this is your uh, azure cloud just i will show that okay even uh, i will show that don't worry so this is your uh, azure cloud and you are going to take a azure free trial account okay they are going to not they are going to char not charge anything like you know it's a free of cost only two rupees inr okay inr two rupees they are going to deduct from your account okay so inr two rupees only later after within 24 hours uh, they are going to refunded that amount also to your account okay that is very like you know zero cost you are going to get a free trial account and along with this free trial account so azure is providing inr okay inr 15000 around around 13 to 15000 like you know 200 us dollars in us you know 200 us dollars means around uh, so 15000 of you know indian uh, rupees is going to credit your account after creating this azure free trial okay so happily you can utilize this amount as a practice this is more than enough okay so even though even though so it is going to provide only one month right so this is for only one month right so only one month of time they are going to provide you need to utilize this but something okay so you are busy or something uh, you already used that then again what you are going to do you are to create uh, other account other azure uh, free trial account by using uh, by your friends cards or you have multiple cards like credit or debit cards and you are going to create other account and you can start again practice your lab so you can create our other other azure account and right you can create your like uh, again start your lab and all okay so this is the way and the card should be like it should be master and visa card only azure is going to uh, like uh, like it is going to act, i mean accept only master and visa cards only it might be debit or credit card not only credit cards if you have if you don't have credit cards so you can use your uh, debit card happily okay so this is the thing like uh, uh, you can create your azure account retail account so after that what you are going to do so inside this azure account okay so you are going to create a virtual laptop nothing but technically you can call it as virtual mission okay it is kind of a virtual mission consider this is a virtual mission so this is a laptop you are going to create so under this virtual mission you are going to install ubuntu operating system ubuntu os so now you are going to play with this virtual mission means this is cloud laptop so whatever the laptop you are attending this demo that is that is your on-premise laptop so that that will become as a like you know by default windows operating system we are using but here this is linux why because in enterprise level like you know in real time no one will ask you to do the things with windows nowadays not only nowadays from past decade also so everything should be linux boxes only that is nothing but linux missions so that's why we are going to focus only on linux operating system missions right that is nothing but ubuntu one of the flavor is ubuntu operating system or if you want to go with centos also centos is the one of the like you no know, flavor from the linux operating system right so this is now you created your free trail account and you created your virtual mission then what you are going to do you can you can connect internally by using uh, cloud shell okay so what azure is provided by default it is going to open one uh, terminal here internally here in your along with portal only right so here along with portal only it is going to provide one terminal right we can call it as terminal terminal uh, cloud shell terminal so, terminal and you are going to connect this virtual mission through this terminal okay so and you are going to run commands here from the terminal so you are going to run commands from here terminal. what are the commands you want so you are going to now start installing suppose docker docker engine right docker software a docker runtime docker container runtime we will we will, I, will I will explain you all these things just wait for some time okay so you are going to install docker and you are going to play with docker so all these things you are going to do in this virtual mission like nothing but your cloud laptop and you are successfully like you know connected and you are running your commands and your lab is ready so this setup okay this setup if you have only internet connection the first prerequisite is you should have azure free trail account with you after creating your azure free trail account right if you have internet connection you can do your lab from forest also so wherever you wherever you have time right you are traveling you are like you know you are at airport or you are at somewhere like you know journey but you want to like you know play with commands or play with you know devops uh, pipelines or something the only prerequisite is you should have a internet connection that's it so you can you can practice from any world anywhere in the world okay so that is the beauty of labs what we are focusing okay and this is like very good sign for learning devops earlier it is hectic why means i already explained it. this is one way of you know connecting your virtual mission means your cloud laptop in any cloud not only i'm not only azure 
if you go with aws also like you know so the aws is also providing free trial account so same thing you can create your you know aws free trial account and you can create your virtual machine so here in azure we are calling it as virtual machines technically see technically this is everything is cloud laptop for our layman world see we are not focusing high end okay so my style of approach my style of like explanation everything is from a b c d like you know who don't know anything so i am focusing those kind of uh, like you know learners from that learner point of view i am going to start then i will going to like you know pull you above intermediate level okay from basics to above intermediate level so if you are really understand from basic pillars and very strong in the core architecture core technical skills right and you have very good knowledge up to like you know above intermediate level that is more than enough like you know uh, crack the interviews or if you already job if you are already working so definitely you are going to pick the things like you know in a very uh, like you know faster manner that much i can say okay so in azure we can call it as you know uh, virtual missions vm technically so virtual virtual missions but the same thing this is layman words what you were going to understand this is a cloud laptop what is cloud laptop so the laptop is running in cloud what is nothing but either azure or aws or gcp or alibaba cloud or oracle cloud or i you know ibm cloud whatever it may be cloud service provider is anything public cloud service provider simple you are going to the word will be the different so in azure we can call it as virtual machines right but in aws we can call it as the same thing as ec2 instances okay i i hope you guys are very familiar familiar with this if you know this okay so ec2 instances why this is ec2 ec2 means what elastic compute cloud right elastic compute cloud what is this elastic compute compute cloud why it is calling as ec2 again it is cloud laptop so layman words so we don't want technical initially okay so just understand exactly okay so cloud laptop again right so here again aws right ec2 why ec2 means what is this elastic what is this c2 means so compute cloud see these two words started with c the letter c that's why two times right so c so elastic two times c that's the reason it should be like they call it as elastic compute cloud in short way ec2 right and we can call it as a cloud laptop again the same thing in gcp if you come to the google cloud platform right gcp so what we can call it as virtual instances okay so virtual instances so this is also again cloud laptop for gcp the concept is same but implementation and terminology how your like pronunciation is different that's it this three is common and this is like you know this is uh, the the architecture and all same so now we are talking about azure and tomorrow if you want to go with create a free trial account and you can go happily and create free trial account and create your cloud laptop nothing but in ec2 you can call it as elastic compute cloud so you can create your cloud laptop within seconds then gcp also you can call it as virtual instances tomorrow if someone asks you okay so if you know about virtual machines the concept and the, like what happens inside and this is cake work for you aws and gcp and either other alibaba cloud and all the concept is same but the implementation approach is different so if you know only azure then you can easily you know you can easily work with aws because just go for aws documentation you can understand the terminology and you can like you know uh, you can play with aws gcp and other public cloud service providers right and one more thing here i want to tell you one thing so what is azure or what are, what is aws or what is gcp actually these three are like you know we can call it as uh, generally like cloud so cloud cloud we can call it as cloud but no that is not correct so exactly what we can call it as azure or aws or gcp we can call it as public clouds they are public clouds right public cloud service provider okay public cloud service provider so this is the exact like you know technical uh, like if someone asks you what is aws aws is public cloud service provider in a single word okay in a single line we can call it as public cloud service provider because this is a public cloud and are providing the services we will see little bit after some time what is services so why it is become the public cloud so because he is the provider because he created this free trial i mean he created the azure azure uh, cloud right 
so we are uh, we are utilizing and provider is what azure is provider aws is provider gcp is provider but we are simply we are like you know utilizing the service so that's why we are like you know we are the users okay and these are the providers so that is the reason we can call it as public cloud service providers these three we can not a cloud so tomorrow onwards if anyone ask you so what is aws what is azure and what is uh, you know uh, this one okay gcp so we can call it as what we can call it as public cloud service providers they are all public cloud service providers so like this i am going to explain everything very clearly in a visualized manner i think hope understanding this you don't require any technical knowledge right so i think hope you understand what i am saying so clearly take one diagram so even though if you take time so if you committed for like you know uh, some sessions uh, example 55 60 sessions so even though if it exceed other 5 6 i am ready to deliver the classes but the the here main like funda is like you, you should be end of the day you should be understand the concept very clearly and you should be in the position to deliver the things like you know you should be confidently deliver the things with imagination right with kind of you know visualization so so how we learn you know childhood right so kind of reading books diagrams right so the same thing even though in your curriculum beta m tech even though so whenever you are learning a new thing so you just become as a child okay so then only you will like you know get the things very faster way okay so this is uh, like you know uh, about cloud right so i think we are diverting the topic fine sorry yeah so this is what exactly yeah this is discussing about the labs how you are going to uh, practice yourself in cloud okay this is done so so this is about guys okay so exactly what about myself as a background and what is my experience and coming to your part so not required any technical background and not required any coding knowledge but yes some scripting knowledge you know that to some extent so don't worry so it is very easy okay and the other thing is little bit linux command linux uh, basics commands is required that we are going to cover here okay don't worry so and implementation concept implementation and all i am going to give you like you know i am going to explain concept theory and the visualization and implementation and labs we are going to all labs in, uh, in the now we are into cloud era right so that's why we are going to use all labs in the azure because we are focusing this is what this is azure devops course so that's why we are going to focus in all labs on azure cloud right azure cloud by creating free trial account right and after that so this is what we are going to follow so you are going to create one cloud laptop nothing but virtual missions right we can call it an azure cloud laptops or like you know cloud desktops cloud missions or whatever the terminology so exact technical uh, like you know terminology we can use it as virtual missions in aws the same thing we can call it as ec2 and the same thing we can call it as gcp that is virtual instances in gcp but the same thing this is we can just understand cloud laptop whatever laptop with you that is your personal laptop you can do anything with this but the same thing you are going to create on cloud that is nothing but your cloud laptop very layman we are discussing right now a little bit move forward now what are all tools exactly what is devops and what are all tools you are going to learn here okay now coming to this first focus here okay docker kubernetes openshift okay docker kubernetes openshift just go back here docker kubernetes and openshift so these three uh, like you know there are uh, see after learning devops suppose after learning devops you are going to like you know uh, uh, like uh, the devops would become the front face okay i can say front face and cloud will become and remaining things whatever so because you are uh, as a devops engineer you are like you know learning cloud as part of devops but you are not your front face would not be cloud please please understand what i'm saying see you are a devops engineer you are not a cloud engineer earlier earlier if you are there are separate set of jobs for devops engineers and separate set of jobs for cloud engineers even nowadays also but the problem with cloud is so if you are very strong in cloud and everything cloud solution architect something like you know cloud administration and all that is a kind of a very uh, unique set of jobs unique set of jobs in the sense uh, like you know you are like you know you are going to uh, like uh, suppose if you take here 
uh, you learn azure okay azure solution architect okay so azure uh, solution architect suppose you completed certification or something so you are you are like you know uh, ready to go with solution architect but when you put your resume in nokri or a monster some other job portal right when you add your resume what is going to happen you are going to become specific okay specific to specific to azure cloud right and you won't get any calls only you won't get any calls from aws and gcp am i correct right so won't get any calls from aws and gcp then okay then what you are going to do you are going to start you know learning with aws after learning with aws again they are going to ask you gcp because if you are focused on cloud you should be strong you should be become like very strong in cloud all all the clouds then only you will become the cloud engineer as per your experience so the minimum anyway you guys have around i think three to four minimum experience also definitely they are going to expect if you are pressure or one one year or around close to two years one cloud is enough but nowadays industry is expecting something from I mean something different okay from yourself okay from your side that is what so what is no what, so even though if you say azure aws gcp you know alibaba cloud they will ask you even though if you say yes you know ibm cloud so because like you know industry wants more okay so exactly like you know they they are expecting something from the resource so that you should showcase yourself okay right so and now coming to this is azure okay i mean this is cloud so we are talking about devops and cloud right so we are talking about the job set of jobs okay devops and cloud so why because devops is our uh, you know front face and cloud will be this like you know where you are going to use cloud wherever you want in devops but if you make it cloud plus devops so that is a different scenario okay so if that, that that thing i mean you won't get anything so because uh, cloud is like you know if you make it cloud is front face then you should be focused here but here we are not cloud engineers we are devops engineers i think hope you understood one thing so we are devops engineers right so now as a devops engineer so you have wide variety set of jobs okay wide variety of set of jobs that is the beauty of devops okay so what are all that wide variety of jobs right so first of all starting with devops tools what are all devops tools so as we discussed so you should require git why because even though not only for devops this is okay so this is not only for devops if you go for java dot net python whatever if you want to like you know continue in the industry you should know about git this is a mandatory tool for entering into it industry or if someone working they know this very well so without git nowadays there is no it industry as a development in any kind of environment so that's why you are not separately learning here as a separate tool like you know this is mandatory right so don't feel that you are learning extra tool here so this is common tool and this is mandatory also so here we are going to spend around you know four to five hours of you know quality time there you are going to learn here okay git after git okay so jenkins okay so i will discuss this little bit later just after that there is a other set of job where you are going to get kubernetes okay kubernetes or kubernetes or k8s uh, the pronunciation is different okay k eight s right k eight s and open shift what is this exactly open shift so this is the place where you guys should focus if you are not from you know uh, non technical background zero coding knowledge this is the place where you guys should focus this is more related into networking i mean but even though if you don't know network fine so you can understand the concepts you can deliver the things but i'm i'm saying okay if you just you were like you know a uh, little bit knowledge on networking uh, that i will explain don't worry but the thing is this is like more into kind of a theoretical understanding wise very interesting okay very interesting anyone can understand with this kind of visualization diagrammatic way okay so it is very interesting these two docker and kubernetes after that if you start practicing you will become it will be cake work for you okay we can like you know docker and kubernetes for docker we can call it as a for containerization for creating the containers we can call it as containerization okay containerization but this kubernetes this is like you know uh, without docker like you know guys uh, uh, like uh, so you should know about the docker with, before going to kubernetes why because 
uh, otherwise you can like you know you can go other uh, container runtime means uh, there will be other containers available that is nothing but rocket containers rkts taxis lxds some other you know competitors for docker but docker is the most popular container containerization tool for container software to can container runtime so it is going to provide the container runtime here okay so you should know about the docker before going to kubernetes now the everything is kubernetes here so everything is kubernetes if you think about devops you should think about kubernetes remaining all the tools okay kubernetes or k is what is this k is k is like you know in between kubernetes if you take the word kubernetes in between like k and s there will be a eight you know eight letters is there so that's why we can call it as tomorrow if you join in any organization if anyone asks you okay go and check the k test cluster so don't get confused so this is nothing but like you know uh, kubernetes k test means kubernetes or i am talking like you know i am pronunciation kubernetes sometimes some other you know like you know us clients or uk clients they even call it as kubernetes like ku kubernetes or so as a indian pronunciation kubernetes whatever it may be so don't get confused either kubernetes either kubernetes or either k is okay so you can uh, both all three will three are same okay the pronunciation is different now what is kubernetes exactly so kubernetes is container orchestration tool okay container orchestration this is very very important okay container orchestration tool what is this container orchestration so basically like you know container orchestration is like you no know, you are going to create a cluster and uh, it is going to provide the high availability auto scaling like you know uh, some other you know key features uh, where uh, like docker swarm cluster this is a, uh, docker is providing other uh, uh, kind of cluster like this uh, kubernetes but that is like you know uh, not that much popular along compared to kubernetes okay so it is kind of little bit you know in depth uh, we are talking not required as of now just understand that docker is for containerization creating your containers and for kubernetes this is this is for a container orchestration tool this is the tool high demand in the market not only today so going forward and even this is this is going to rule why because all your like you know all your projects and all your applications is going to deploy end of the day in the kubernetes cluster only either it might be on premise or it might be in managed cloud service nothing but we are going to focus both on premise and as well as aks what is this azure kubernetes service so azure is providing a managed service okay don't create cluster by yourself okay i am going to provide you the service you just come and utilize my service that's it so it is very uh, like easy and uh, you can understand uh, uh, the cluster and all and i am going to give you here kubernetes starting with you know uh, the basic uh, uh, architecture of uh, kubernetes cluster right that is going to discuss almost you know one one and a half hour uh, architecture and after that we are going to like you know create our own manual cluster okay own manual cluster and managed cluster also nothing but aks okay so these three things like you know you are going to get where if you are strong in first of all architecture wise with diagrammatically visually so definitely interviews they will ask you about the component master node what are worker nodes and all what is exactly node what is the difference between master node and worker nodes they will ask you like you know even though if you go and verify any youtube channel anything whatever the content i am going to deliver so definitely i am challenging this okay so the architecture no one will explain you because even that is confused okay so so that's why if you are strong in architecture okay so definitely so many questions you can answer and after that you are going to create the cluster so uh, so i am going to give you like what is exactly master node what it is going to do how it is created and also we are going to discuss here then we are going to focus in aks this is a managed cluster ready made cluster we just create a cluster in cloud here in this cloud now how you created this virtual machine like this uh, azure is providing one you know cluster you just imagine this is a cluster so same i will show you, i will show you this okay don't worry so this is the cluster so what you are going to do again you are going to connect this cluster from this virtual mission and you are going to run the commands from this terminal so this it is very very simple i will show you okay don't worry don't get confused and don't get uh, anything okay so like this you are going to like you know we are going to finish this kubernetes so here the benefit is docker and kubernetes we are going to spend here almost uh, you know uh, docker uh, almost 8 hours 8 hard hours okay uh, means why i am using the word hard why because here everything we are going to discuss starting with docker architecture right 
so doctor or respective kind of almost equal to certification kind of all the concepts i am going to cover here why because i am not uh, like you know running the commands docker run create this and uh, running the commands without visualization waste of time okay so that the same thing i can do in 4 hours the same same concept same topics without explanation just running the commands 3 to, three to 4 hours i can wind up okay but no i am not going to do that so i am going to give you clear introduction about the docker architecture and after that you are going to discuss about more about the images deeper look into images how image is going to create like you know uh, your own image and how you are going to push the image to your repository how you to pull the image from the repository especially we are going to discuss about you know after images container so how to create the container and how many ways you can create the container there are three ways you can create the container and how to like you know play with the container and uh, inside container deeper way do deeper look we are going to look here also okay and some other uh, concepts like restart policy so many things like you know so i'm going to give you each and we are going to discuss each and every corner of docker don't worry why because this is like if you are uh, strong docker and kubernetes that's enough okay i will tell you that just give me two minutes okay so images containers after that we are going to discuss on you know docker compose docker file so exactly what is docker file so by using docker file only you are going to like you know build your image and you are going to create the container after running run the command okay so we are going to create the docker file and you are going to like you know uh, after that there will be a concept of docker compose so where you are going to uh, spin or where we are going to run the multiple containers at that uh, docker compose okay so not compose okay so docker compose and uh, right so docker compose at the end the last topic would be docker swarm cluster Okay, the last topic would be swarm cluster this is a swarm docker swarm docker swarm cluster so this will finish our your docker docker course here if you see the topic first topic second topic three four five six see almost six topics six hours plus other two hours uh, one one and a half hour here architecture images containers it will add other one hour so it is not a three hours it's a four hour center see so you are going to we are going to hardly spend seven to eight hours here very like you know you are going to get from a b c d to above intermediate level okay so this is about the docker what you are going to learn then come coming to the kubernetes yes this is ocean so so this is there is a separate kubernetes certification training that is nothing but the cka so kubernetes certified kubernetes administrator okay so certified kubernetes administrator so here almost it will go 30 plus hours so i can't pro i can't provide 30 plus hours here why because this is a separate course so that's why it is not required also for you as a devops engineer but yes again we are going to spend here almost eight plus hours same uh, eight plus hours for kubernetes also uh, including starting from again including from architecture very clear discussion about the architecture then the components right master architecture components and you are going to like other concepts like namespaces uh, replication controller replica set deployments how real-time deployment is going to happen uh, that is nothing but the rolling updates so and especially volumes like you know persistent volume clamps and persistent volume so many concepts but there is never ending because so many kubernetes objects almost you know 20 plus important things but uh, it is impossible to cover in this course but whatever we discuss that is more than enough uh, to go and you know crack the interview as five to four to five years of experience you can make we can make it that is not a problem so this is the place okay this is the place now uh, this is the place right now we discussed about docker and kubernetes only separate set of jobs this is the first job place where you are going to get even though if you add your resume sometimes so tomorrow you are going to start getting the call saying that we need a kubernetes expert like you know we need devops engineer with kubernetes uh, more the, we are looking into kubernetes uh, expertise so this is the where you are you should showcase yourself you are strong in from architecture wise and as well as kubernetes concepts whatever we are discussing eight to nine hours so if you start uh, explaining this and along with this same thing we are going to look into aks this is important this guy so if you add AKS in your resume or if you are in DevOps EKS, the same thing is providing Elastic Kubernetes Service in AWS. In GCP, GKE, okay, Google Kubernetes Engine. So say both are like, you know, providing the managed clusters only. Okay, let me show you this also. 
suppose if you take this is what this is aks right so azure is providing what azure is providing aks okay so what is that azure kubernetes service this is a managed service ready made cluster so as per our understanding as layman words right ready made cluster we can call it as ready made cluster and the same thing in as aws what it is providing it is providing eks okay elastic kubernetes service eks right so elastic kubernetes service right kubernetes service sometimes spelling mistake don't consider that okay and gke okay google kubernetes engine so google is providing these three are these three are ready made clusters you just create the cluster and run the commands and you implement your like you know deployments and all for your project okay this is what exactly the multiple other cloud uh, like you know public cloud service providers are providing okay now just go back here so this is the place you are going to get a separate set of jobs docker kubernetes now after this the one more guy this guy is nothing but openshift so this is more advanced compared to openshift okay so this is like you know top class skills what we are talking about kubernetes openshift openshift is like you know ocp ocp this is openshift container platform okay this is a complete a private cloud infrastructure private cloud okay so this is a private cloud and this is also container orchestration same like kubernetes container orchestration so same like kubernetes why because so this is like you know uh, kubernetes like uh, kubernetes has its own ui but compared to openshift okay so openshift is providing a very good ui like running commands and all whatever you are doing this is like more visually like you know uh, ui uh, kind of tool so you are going to like you know very much interest to work with you know openshift but the important point you should understand here is kubernetes openshift is built on top of kubernetes consider if you take an example okay take an example of uh, no uh, suppose if you take a uh, car okay so if you consider this is a car right so car is like you know outer part of okay, outer line so this car is you can consider is open shift okay car is open shift but engine is kubernetes so understand this there is single answer what is the difference between open shift and kubernetes simple kubernetes you can call it as engine of the car but open shift is car means by using kubernetes core core concepts and core architecture open shift deliver other and then far advanced features compared to kubernetes but internally kubernetes only okay internet is open shift having kubernetes this has this guy has you know the kind of wide variety of uh, uh, like it's a top class skill in the in the in the like you know uh, in the kind of uh, container orchestration category you can call it as this container orchestration category the uh, like you know competitor to kubernetes is open shift and this is again separate certification training but here we are not cover this uh, open shift why because it is again uh, other 30 25 to 30 hours thing but uh, from this batch onwards i am going to add a complementary kind of thing end of the like you know after completing this course so i am going to show you like uh, one one and a half hour for open shift right you know how it will be and how you can showcase at least you can add your resume as a open shift just you got a trained cross trained in your organization but you don't have any work experience this is the thing this is the thing this is the difference between these two if you add this open shift definitely there will be a difference compared to other even even other you know uh, other institute students or other i mean other trainer learners they won't at least uh, like you know uh, like showcase you or inform you or they can't, they can't update this why because uh, like but i'm adding everything okay no okay uh, before you know uh, you should know whatever the depth you should know okay before jump into this whatever so you should know about the depth, okay but but this is not required as of now okay so as a learner this is not required okay this is about you know uh, open shift ocp uh, open shift container platform so but i am going to give you a brief introduction and uh, you can, you can add it in your resume okay but this is not uh, added in the official course of our azure devops regular course okay fine so now this is done docker kubernetes this is one set of job docker kubernetes open shift so you don't have any here technical knowledge not required you don't if your background is from mechanical engineer or whatever it may be and even zero coding but here we need manifest files okay manifest files we can call it as manifest files that is nothing but yaml files yaml configuration 
don't worry amel is very very easy it's a very layman english words layman english names okay so if you see one amel file then it is a cake walk for you just cop uh, kubernetes will provide documentation or even open it will provide documentation you just go to the kubernetes and uh, copy that you know yaml file and you can change accordingly i will show that everything don't worry so very very like you know very easy uh, kind of thing so these manifest files you should write and you should understand if existing is there you should be in the position to understand and modify the manifest files okay. this is about you know exactly like you know uh, what uh, you are going to do with these two so you see separate set of jobs the other set of job is like terraform okay so this is the this is the tool ruling the market okay why because it is so you are going to do the infrastructure as a code okay so infrastructure as a code you are going to infrastructure you are going to automate your infrastructure okay so you are going to automate your infrastructure right infrastructure right? infrastructure so infrastructure in any cloud okay so means not only in azure you can do it automate your infrastructure means not required suppose if you see here if you see here if you see here uh, one minute one minute if you see here uh, we created like you know uh, uh, after after creating this cloud one minute guys Sorry guys, sorry guys. So here, if you see, uh, see op Ubuntu operating system we created. That this is manually we have done. The same thing you can do by running the script. Okay, the same thing you can do running the script by using Terraform. So that is what exactly Terraform is saying. Automate your infrastructure. So don't go inside your Azure cloud. Okay, simply run a script, and you are going to create the infrastructure. Same thing. Automatically, this whatever the clusters or whatever the like, you know. Uh, uh, virtual missions or sql servers databases whatever the server i will show you okay just give me some some time i will show you so automate your infrastructure by using terraform okay you are going to automate it not only cloud infrastructure on including on premise okay? including on premise okay so including on premise infrastructure right so including on premise infrastructure plus you are going to automate your cloud infrastructure also that is nothing but azure plus aws plus gcp and blah 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 other alibaba cloud or other oracle cloud or ibm cloud whatever it may be right so you can do it this and again you have a separate set of jobs for only terraform okay so how it will be like there will be a role of sre this is nothing but site reliable engineer okay so site reliable engineer Okay, this guy what this guy is going to do so he's going to focus only on the automate your infrastructure okay that is again on premise or cloud why because there is no no quality resources like you know who knows really about the terraform so market is industry is lagging between like you know the uh, high qualified uh, resources from terraform especially okay and it is very easy but everyone is talking about the script okay so terraform scripting file like you know a script terraform file like when you can call it as terraform script okay terraform dot tf file will be there so that is it so terraform uh, like file you are going to write and you are going to run this simple here complete again this is a layman english okay so terraform is going to provide like kubernetes documentation in kubernetes you are going to write the ml files but here you are going to write the terraform file and clearly okay terraform is providing like you know it is from the hashicorp okay so hashicorp uh, like you know uh, language will be there simple uh, if you familiar with two three like you know creating uh, terraform files it is a layman words it's a cake work for you uh, to go and play with terraform but before writing the terraform file you should be like very clear about okay you should be very clear about which resource means which service you are going to which resource you are going to automate and you should know about the dependencies about this particular service suppose if you are if you want to create a cluster of you know tomorrow kubernetes cluster so you should be very clear about the like you know dependencies and all so where you are going to create the cluster and what are all like you know uh, the image and all where you are going to uh, like store into uh, azure uh, container registry acr or 
uh, docker hub something right so those things like you know you should be like uh, dependencies also you can add in a terraform file once if you are understanding clearly about cloud then you are going to implement that is the lag between like you know the cloud and the like you know terraform so but that i am going to give you very good you know clear uh, about the clear picture about all these things don't worry so it is kind of a sre role so it is like high popular and high demand in devops to all the devops tools okay nowadays it is ruling so we are going to like you know focus here almost you know seven to eight hours okay so seven to eight hours almost we can say eight hours okay eight quality of hours so and i'm going to maximum try my level best to deliver the understanding like starting from again terraform architecture and terraform core concepts like terraform init terraform like you know uh, and terraform plan and terraform apply terraform destroy and terraform validate right especially validate and especially terraform state file so how you are going to store your terraform state file and how to like you know automate all the services like uh, creating the virtual missions and uh, from the resource groups and from the cluster wise right all these things we are going to see here it is going to like you know touch almost eight hours so docker eight hours kubernetes eight hours and terraform also eight hours so total till we are going to spend almost hard almost 24 hours and this is the place where you are going to focus but this is again not sufficient but still uh, we can't extend uh, uh, this thing but based on this knowledge right you are going to definitely crack interviews i mean at least you should face the interviews and you should answer answer the l1 and l2 questions means basic and intermediate questions you can answer the next level i don't think so they will ask you why because as your experience you are adding four years of total experience relevant sorry relevant experience total experience and we we'll leave it okay you have eight years experience if you are add if you want to add right you know uh, four or five years that is more than enough uh, to focus here but after completing this 24 25 hours definitely you will be in the position to understand the concept and uh, so you can like you know build so if you go to other documents or some other you know information or some other inputs you definitely you can you know gain your gain extra knowledge on these three tools so here this is the other set of you know second type of job so first type of job is related to containerization and container orchestration and the second type of job is sre role nothing but site reliable engineer so if you are really again uh, so don't want to look into the writing of code and all like you know scripting uh, that like you know regular scripting like you know uh, python scripting powershell scripting shell scripting if you are really want to go with terraform this is the place where uh, the other you know you are uh, like you know focus here and high demand high they see they are going to pay anything like this for terraform okay so because they need resources but resources are not that much capable to like you know take that position okay this is the two things the next set of job third set of job is cd pipeline okay so ci cd pipeline what is the ci cd pipeline okay, pipeline what is this pipeline nowadays i think everyone i think you should know about what is this uh, pipeline pipeline and all we will see that okay uh, i will show you a little bit later but this is the place where you are going to uh, like you know fit as a devops engineer you should know even though if they ask these two definitely uh, you should know, you should know like you know as a devops engineer this is the process because you are here so devops means this is from continuous integration and continuous uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, delivery okay continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline so i will show you okay so a little bit later so devops right so it is uh, you should know about as a devops engineer you should know this as a ci cd tools in market jenkins is there okay jenkins is the one of the popular tool okay one of the popular tool from decades okay from decade from past you know 8 to 10 years it is popular and it is going to like you know uh, and high demand tool also but the other the other side so recently last past you know five six years if you say exactly like you know uh, before uh, uh, when corona started 19 18 19 onwards okay there will be a other thing azure devops pipelines so why you are here because of this i will explain you okay why you are here because of this azure devops so there are other courses also right aws devops so why you choose azure devops why why did you choose this azure devops course that is the difference you should know right why should you choose this azure devops this is the first question you should raise and gcp devops is also there i mean but here delivering separately devops tools and cloud that is not azure devops that is not aws devops please 
so this can do anyone so this can do anybody like you know devops tools like you know git uh, jenkins uh, then sonar cube jfrog so all that was anybody can deliver okay even you will get it from somewhere right and delivering some you know uh, kind of services like uh, creating the whatever the resources in the cloud that anybody can deliver that is also fine but the thing he's here is this guy this guy makes this is a, this guy is a game changer okay i can say this guy is game changer why because this guy is game changer so here uh, earlier if you add jenkins good but if you add your resume with azure devops definitely uh, like you know uh, it will be like uh, added advantage and market is looking for this why because this become why most popular in the cicd like you know kind of thing and you are going there are other you know cicd tools also like you know git actions is there right so other uh, uh, popular uh, nowadays everyone is also using this but the thing is here azure devops why like you know uh, it becomes more popular means here project management and plus project uh, like you know monitoring or you know delivery pipelines ci cd okay you can say ci cd so ci cd pipeline and project management plus ci cd this this particular line please understand here please sorry uh, sometimes i told you that so excuse me for my spelling mistakes okay i'm um, like you know little bit fast typing so that's why sometimes even right so this project management and ci cd pipeline okay project management and ci cd so this 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 particular line okay is this makes this azure devops as a game changer let me now jump into this tool i will show you that now so till now we discussed theory right so let me explain this so this is azure devops portal okay this is azure devops portal here dashboard if you see to open a little bit slow summary or overview yeah boards see this guy this this is what exactly see this is what boards okay here this is the place if you know about zira tool or some you know uh, project management tools where your clients and senior project managers and your senior people is going to like you know uh, focus here why because if you see it is equal to like you know you can implement your sprints okay so it is equal to zira and you are going to create your user stories okay so if you want for you know uh, so how many sprints is here right you know so sprint one you can add a new sprint everything whatever you are going to do with your zira tool as for project management for senior project managers so they are going to like you know use this part this is the first one what i showed you okay this is what this is project management plus cicd what is cicd same continuous integration and continuous delivery here azure devops is providing the pipelines right so pipelines in the sense see here pipelines is ci continuous integration releases means delivery cd pipelines okay ci pipelines and cd pipelines means what i am trying to say here is the combination project management and cicd as a client always client is lazy i mean sorry uh, if any clients is here why because i am spending my time i want to like you know uh, i want to track my project so that is my aim okay but nowadays all clients are smart okay they want to like you know uh, they want to look into technical also earlier like you know uh, if you talk about a client means he don't know like anything something uh, like you know 5 10 years back but now all clients are becomes very smart they know everything technically and as well as project management wise okay so now all all clients are like you know they are doing suppose if they are like you know using this azure devops uh, kind of portal right so they are going to get they are going to track their project easily very easily because everything is here project management and pipelines means pipelines means what complete end to end your project right from starting from development stage to monitoring stage that is the delivery stage monitoring stage everything is here if something happened to project he simply log in into this portal and he can able to see this okay that's why this guy becomes more popular compared to jenkins or some other uh, this guy right so so uh, like this becomes more popular and the other reason is this is from microsoft product please 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 understand okay this is from what 
this is from microsoft product if you see microsoft having wide variety of products okay microsoft having microsoft having wide variety of products just verify microsoft products something like this okay microsoft product see see here just for example this is very like you know high level it is showing see microsoft product microsoft 365 outlook excel onedrive word power these are all we know because we are using word from our childhood right and see skype is also from microsoft so this browser right so windows 10 this guy so where microsoft getting is also there microsoft azure right so windows is there so on top of all these products microsoft having the high revenue generating product is windows why because each and every company they should use windows operating system 99.999 percent all companies right so that's why microsoft is getting more revenue anyway these these, these are all things you know but what i'm trying to say here is because of microsoft what microsoft is going to do tomorrow like you know i want to like you know start a new company With, like you know anyway windows 10 i want to install all my like you know all my laptops or all my desktops in my organization right just consider right now this is your organization right and you want to like you know start your own product like our own uh, kind of zomato app kind of thing right or like uber whatever it may be so you are uh, your uh, employee strength you are expecting you need 2000 uh, uh, employees and uh, if you want 2000 employees at least you need 2200 minimum uh like you know laptops or desktops or whatever it may be you want right so as a on-premise just i'm talking about you no know, on-premise means you are uh, whatever uh like you know office environment and office kind of uh, like you know infrastructure we are like we are looking right so if you go to high tech city or somewhere so that is what exactly i'm talking about so two floors three floors i want to uh, like go with my you know new company startup and i started like you know uh, recruiting uh 2000 employees that is also done now i want uh, this this kind of you know 2000 uh, laptops or desktops i want for starting my work right so this time i want to go with windows 10 uh, windows 10 operating system so now when i contact with microsoft what this guy will like you know offer me okay fine so you can go with uh, 2000 uh, laptops with my windows 10 operating system but uh, for that i am going to charge you for example 10 crores suppose just for five years support everything updates and all right 10 crores but if you take Microsoft Azure and some other word and my database, other see, uh, Microsoft having MySQL, right, SQL Server. So if you go with all these things, I am going to provide for all the products with, uh, if you go with individually Azure Cloud and uh, SQL Server and some other, you know, Office tools and all, if it costs totally 20 crores, if you go with especially Azure Cloud also, I am going to give you like a discount of other 4, four crores or 20% discount I am going to give out of 20 crores, right. So like this, uh, they are going to give you like, you know, give the all the organizations at the end of the day, huge discounts. They want to like, you know, so that is the what, what the strategy from day one, you know, not only Microsoft, that is a business strategy because we have n number of products. One product is ruling the world. So if you definitely I want to go with this product. So you just, okay, go with the product and you go with other products also. If you buy other products also, I'm going to give you huge discounts that makes this guy more popular why because i use the word game changer is this one because anyway i want to go with like you know windows 10 okay why can't you go with uh, why can't i go with azure cloud and azure devops uh, pipeline so because i am getting discount right so that is that is the thing not happening with uh, aws and gcp so aws and gcp they have only one portal okay they have one portal okay sorry the, they have only one portal that portal is nothing but you know this guy so this is the other i will show you a little bit later don't worry so this portal is what dev.azure.com for azure devops for azure devops portal but this is a separate portal this is a general portal that is cloud portal portal.azure.com please please guys please uh, understand the difference please so this is dev.azure.com this is portal.azure.com so azure and G sorry gcp and aws alibaba cloud and all everything is here only there is no separate portal for devops but aws devops microsoft is providing a separate portal portal for all the like you know your project management project management as well as technology technology in the sense your delivery your project like you know from uh, development stage to delivery stage
management. So that's why we are going to focus pipelines. We are going to generate in Azure DevOps. But I am going to show you Jenkins also. So here we are going to spend uh, around you know five plus hours, almost five hours. And Azure DevOps pipelines also almost we are going to spend five plus hours, almost you know ten plus quality hours. I am going to show you A B C D to even though if you don't know anything, what is pipeline and all. So you are in the position to end up the day. by yourself and uh, i am like you know i am going to use a heavy project and i don't want to guys you make into soup okay i don't want to make you guys confused first start with very slow very small project take it understand the process if you are understand the skeleton from end to end whatever the project whatever the thing so you can easily dive into that and you can start your work okay so even in interviews also you, you interviewer asking something like you know some other things okay but whatever you know the things whatever you learn okay this is the cycle so this is the pipeline so where it will start i am here i am working as a, i will show everything i am working as a docker kubernetes as a containerization side and container orchestration so this is my roles and responsibilities so i am here okay i am here to work and then everything you can explain and you can pull your interviewer along with your side okay so not, you don't go with your interview side when you are go with your interview side your interview will be go off okay definitely won't select it so you are in the position to like you know that is the skill that is the trick and all you should use in interviews we will discuss all these things okay so you just i mean whatever the knowledge you uh, like start explaining yourself and uh, pull your interviewer with your side along with your side so uh, that on that time only at least after you know uh, 10 15 questions if interviewer ask you even though if you answered 50% or 60% definitely that is a good number okay so that kind of you know inputs definitely uh, i'll give you it's kind of more into the real time but i am i'm again uh, i am not giving you like you know uh, hard hardest code and all like projects and all but we are going to with simple things with simple use cases so you should understand you should be in the position to deliver the things okay so this is the other set of jobs okay first set of job is containerization second set of job is like you know sri role site reliable engineer and the third set of job is it's not a third set of job it is a actual devops job devops engineer job this is the actual devops engineer's job so if you club if you are three areas if you are now we are learning very good into docker almost 8 9 hours we are spending kubernetes very good doc terraform is also like you know very good so means you are and ci cd pipeline so what industry is expecting and you are now in the position almost see this is 8 8 3 is 24 hours and other 10 hours right 34 34 to 35 hours quality of uh, like you know uh, here uh, yeah i want to add git also so git will uh, we, we haven't add git 5 hours right around you know 40 okay so this is uh, uh, like you know uh, the where you are going to fit here the the sec the third part okay uh, the other thing you should like you know learn so we are talking about uh, uh, azure devops azure devops right so now we discussed about the devops exactly so what you are going to learn and all uh, devops right so clearly i explained so what is exactly uh, devops and all what you are going to learn what are all the tools market trending tools like docker kubernetes terraform and ci cd pipelines especially this guy game changer i explained you right project management and continuous integration and continuous delivery part right and so because and moreover this is from microsoft product so that's why so this guy is ruling market and it is going to rule also so if you are really pipelines wise please focus in azure devops okay so that will make you very good like you know opportunities okay so even till now mind tree i think past 3 months if you put your if you add your resume in nokri right so first call you are going to get at least mind tree they will ask you if you one week joining they are going to offer i mean my previous student he is telling like you know uh he explained me everything about the interview and all simple it went uh, you know 25 to 30 minutes only even uh, he is a 10 years gap he added uh, you know 6 uh, years and 10 uh, he selected for you know 32 lakhs uh, per annum package okay so i don't want to exclude the company name but sorry uh, so mind tree guys okay so this is what some x company so definitely it will help you like you know azure devops and uh, azure so now we discussed about devops now i am going to discuss about azure so what is exactly till now we haven't discussed about the cloud right so uh, we started discussing all these things but we haven't discussed about the cloud now coming to cloud here we are going to discuss all the cloud services 10 plus hours okay so means here almost 40 we cover and here 10 50 plus hours along with linux and all some other uh, uh, small tools will be there other we can add 5 to 6 or 7 hours 
it will go hardly in between we are going to close 55 to 60 hours so this is the entire you know the plan for this course right so we are going to close it in 55 to like you know 55 to uh, 60 hours plus or minus okay 60 hours now so this is the total thing but other 5 10 minutes then you can go with your question is okay uh, so azure so here azure so just go back to the portal if you see we discussed about azure devops portal right so because this is a combination of project management and uh, the project management and technically technically was pipelines so cicd pipelines but other side the basic thing okay so this is advanced one the basic thing if you think about microsoft cloud means portal only right portal.azure.com so this is the this is the portal we can call it as azure cloud what i showed you in this diagram okay so this is what so this is the azure cloud in inside azure cloud so this is what this is azure cloud and if you see this is portal.azure.com please please uh, understand the difference so this portal is different portal.azure.com and this portal is also different that is dev.azure.com so this is for devops and this is for normal whatever the day to day cloud activities for your all your project requirements now go here select all services okay so here azure is providing what are all services you should know okay you should know now you can understand after some time after 10 minutes now you will be able to understand exactly what is azure devops what is devops azure okay let me explain this okay if you see here when you select when you go here when you select all services okay when you select all services it is going to show you this A okay. So let me give you bigger image. I want this. Okay. Take again one cloud image. Just consider this is cloud now. Yes. So this is our cloud, right? So this is our Azure cloud. Make it small a little bit. Yeah. So this is my cloud, right? Now, what is this? Sorry. A and machine learning. So what is this A and machine learning? So this is one category Azure is providing. Okay. Azure is providing. Whose background is whose background is artificial intelligence? and machine learning ml okay related to data scientist whose background is data scientist suppose your background is data scientist so you have around you know core data scientist here i want to use core or on premise whatever it may be there is no cloud okay so core core data scientist or core ai artificial intelligence and machine learning right so these background whoever the resources whoever the employees or whoever the developers whoever the architects their background is a and machine learning they are going to more focus on this 23 services 23 resources what azure is providing means now this is the entire cloud so now we are talking about this guy okay this is the category what is this category a and machine learning okay a plus a i plus machine learning okay so here in this category again azure is providing how many the 23 uh, like related services under this category 23 resources is providing please understand i am giving very clearly because you should understand this so even initially i have i mean when i start my career with cloud you know uh, 10 years back i am very much uh, like you know uh, confused some thing some like you know few scenarios and all but I want to explain so like this 23 here the word so 23 services providing right 23 services is providing in uh, AI and machine learning in azure cloud so this is the azure cloud inside azure cloud AI and machine learning is provide azure is providing 23 services fine just move a little bit just minimize this then analytics what is this analytics analytics is like you know uh, is kind of a category where it, this is a separate skill set also so in market nowadays so many analytics engineers analytics managers analytics architects so whose background is analytics they are going to use this 19 services provided by azure okay 
so this is again the other category what azure is providing is what analytics right analytics analytics is what it is providing analytics they are providing almost you know uh, kind of uh, analytics right analytics they are providing 19 services so like small small boxes okay consider this is a uh, box or something right 19 services and you, you can utilize these services if your background is analytics right now minimize this compute so here these two like AI and machine learning and analytics we are not you know focus here because we are not back we are not from analytics and uh, a, a machine learning we are not focusing this but if you come to compute a yeah, few things see compute means here see our uh, uh, vm okay so our virtual machine see here virtual machines right so means we need a virtual machine right and virtual machine scale sets so here also see virtual machine scale set so like this in compute this is the basic building block for any cloud computing not only azure so if you go to aws also there will be a compute services if you go to gcp also there will be a compute services so that's why this is the basic building blocks for any cloud computing so that's why here we are going to focus few services not all see uh, container apps and if you see this uh, scale sets and virtual missions virtual mission scale sets and few things like you know we are going to like uh, learn here okay this is the compute compute category again azure is providing 36 services containers yes this is required for us why because docker so containerization right container orchestration so here if you see container containers azure is providing nine wide variety of services right so this is required this is required for devops engineers right this is required for devops engineers that's why we are going to more focus here in the containers so containers so it is providing from x services right so nine services here we are going to see container instances we are going to learn about and what about uh, container registries right acr azure container registries like docker hub and kubernetes service this is where we are going to more focus and we are going to spend more time here kubernetes service like this we are going to learn uh, like you know important services under this containers category means we are going to start learning these compute services and container services also then database services yes this is also one of the basic pillar for cloud computing here Azure is providing ready-made databases. Okay, so don't see. I think even though if your background is from anything, if you have real-time experience or not, leave it. So database is the core heart of any application development, right? So, uh, so you started developing one Java application. Suppose for example, so you started one Java application and you need one database, right? So, so you have done something. You are going to store your data uh, in database and you are going to fetch the data from the database to your application, right? So this is kind of you know. Uh, kind of a vice versa right so two way it's a two way right so see the uh, see the like you know the image right so this is a two way happen so without database you can't do so that's why azure is providing wide variety of you know 21 database services see here we are going to learn up we are going to create our sql database and cosmos db right you know uh, cosmos azure cosmos db and all we will see like you know not all 21 but important databases we are going to discuss here why because this is one of the basic pillar basic building block for to creating the cloud right so this is again database it is providing 21 other services okay so database again it is providing 21 other services like like other services so database databases almost 21 like including sql sql and cosmos db and all like that okay now devops so this is the where this is the place 22 services is providing so we are going to use whatever not 22 but even though we are background is devops like we are focusing we are focusing as a devops engineer side so we are going to focus all the 22 services right now but we are going to take few services and we are going to work accordingly so this is related to us so that's why we are going to focus here so devops is 22 services is providing like other services again azure is providing devops around 22 services so here devops is 22 services under this devops category go to the general category so general category it is providing 20 24 general means like if you see some like you know uh, tags and uh, so whatever uh, for your project requirement you can go and utilize these services and hybrid and multi cloud nowadays this market is also increasing multi cloud and hybrid environment we will see so tomorrow class we start with the exactly what is cloud computing what is the 
private cloud, public cloud, multi uh, hybrid cloud and all. I'm going to give you, it is around, you know, two hour session, including cloud and creating instances. So don't worry, but just understand the cloud, okay? So this is, in this particular category, again, 24 services is Azure providing. Identity, identity and access management means it is related to authorization, authentication and authorization of your identity and all, right? So it is here providing a uh, few services. Here we are going to look into Azure AD and all uh, Active Directory. We are going to look here, okay? We are not leaving this. We are going to focus here, uh, like, you know, few services. Then integration. So whose background is like, you know, integration or SOA, like service oriented architecture. So those kind of resources, they are going to focus these 16 resources, right? Then internet of things, IOT. So what is IOT? Internet of things. So IOT, whose background is IOT developers, IOT like, you know, uh, architects and all, they are going to use this particular category. They are going to more focus on this IOT and management and governance so this is also other category whose like you know background is i mean like even if you want to do your project management and you know governance and also azure is providing wide variety of 39 services you can use this okay and migration so again so if you want to migrate your project to on-premise or uh, like on-premise to azure so you can you can use this like you know azure migrate and azure uh, database migration services azure data box right azure stack edge data box gateway so all this like you know migration and all like you know uh, if you want to migrate you can use these services mixed reality and monitoring services so this is also one of the basic uh, uh, building block for cloud computing because we need monitoring right so you develop your application right so and uh, you need to monitor the application so developing is different see developing is the basic thing but after development so many things would happen right so you just develop your code but that should work properly after working is there any you know live issues so those should be monitored right so that's why any any application that should be like monitoring should be mandatory so for that see this is the promothesis right so but this is managed services providing already promothesis is ready you just come and utilize my service see exactly what every time cloud will say you 70 to 80 percent of you know uh, creating this uh, all the services are uh, so, so suppose if you want to create a database okay so in real time suppose actually i missed uh, when i discussed the database suppose if you see uh, earlier even in your personal laptop also you downloaded uh, you know you start working with java project personally so you need what database right so if you want to create the database how what you are going to do so you are going to do the oracle uh, state or oracle database or sql microsoft if you want you can go with mysql right so you can go and download the database and you are going to install the database and you are going to connect the database you are going to do the so many configurations okay that will be hectic for you right so as a like you know uh, uh, as a developer or so you should focus on the code so why should you focus on the, like you know installing the things and inf installing the uh, infrastructure right so no like you know uh, other uh, all other uh, cloud service providers or any cloud so what they are saying simply don't like you know focus on like downloading your software installing and make it connection to that now after downloading this right now so you have after downloading right so your database is ready so now you are going to connect this database to your application right so again i mean sometimes it is hectic in real time this is the thing they are going to spend more time for you know connectivity issues sometimes you know integration issues will come so but if you go with cloud, all these things will be like, you know, it will be like cakewalk for you because uh, all the cloud service providers, all the public cloud service providers, they are going to provide all the like, you know, uh, like uh, they are going to make it ready. Almost 60 to 70% of your environment or infrastructure is ready. You just come and utilize my service. Okay. Remain, just focus on your code. Don't focus on creating this, like, you know, downloading your software, installing and, you know, creating your infrastructure. Now, don't, you know, uh, don't focus on, don't focus focus just focus on your business logic focus on your code for writing your queries or writing your java code so don't focus on the these kind of things okay that i am going to make it ready exactly that is the cloud if you understand this single line even though if you have existing knowledge on cloud i don't i mean i don't know but cloud is what simply whatever you are doing on your laptop personal laptop installing a mysql or database oracle database same thing don't do your laptop i already created here you just come and create the name of the database and what is the port number you want just click next 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 your database is ready end of the day after creating this database he is going to provide one url use that url connect your database and work accordingly simple it will take just five minutes but if you want to do all these things you need to search which database you want right you need to download again you need to pay for that here once if you take the here if you convert to pre-trail to pay as you go 
so you can utilize any kind of service right so that is the beauty of cloud computing this is about the monitoring right and networking so this is again one of the basic you know building block for uh, any cloud computing networking is very important but again it is a version okay again it is a version if you start talking networking it will go two to three months also it is not enough so that's why here we are going to discuss whatever the required for our devops like starting with you know uh, virtual networks and what is vnets and uh, uh, like you know other uh, 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 what is exactly ip addresses right no so what is ip ip for very basic networking we will discuss and uh, uh, we are going to look into few services here okay fine so this is about the networking and security so for this is also very every see if you see any application so security is very very important please not only cloud not only your on premise whatever it may be security is very important that's why what azure is providing like exactly here what kind of security is azure is providing like you know so everything so here we are going to discuss all the security related things and uh, exactly what azure is providing we will discuss here this is also one of the basic building block for you know cloud computing like networking security databases right and storage so this is also important so how you are storage your application how you are storage your files like in azure so suppose if you take disks so this is where azure is like uh, make the difference suppose in aws there will be a separate concept but in azure you can call it as a like you no know, disks and if you want to store your files file storage so like you know different different it is related to completely storage part so here you know i think you guys are know about the storage general storage storage means what if you take your on premise laptop suppose if you want to download something you are going to put in one folder and make the folder name that's it right so the same thing here how you are going to do the cloud simple so it's very easy like you know understanding and implementing the cloud okay and web web and mobile so this is also like you know we are not related to this and we are not covering this also so because it is so like this see i showed you everything i showed you each and every corner of azure cloud so this is same with aws same with gcp same with alibaba cloud same with oracle cloud same with ibm cloud there will be a no change whatever the background you have so you just focus go to the services take the services learn the services suppose if your background is database just focus here on the database right so here if you see azure data factory is there adf azure synopsis right so many things like you know uh, like uh, popular demand in the market okay so along with devops right so if you if you combine this devops and uh, you know data factory azure synopsis your profile is like you know rich profile and now you are adding you know database and as well as devops means process and kubernetes docker terraform what not so everything you are adding here so first learn the cycle so what i am saying is learn end to end cycle skeleton and and figure it out where you are going to fit as per your uh, your education background your technical non technical and you can do that but even though if your background is not from you know not always think about those guys only if you anyway you are technical not required to tell all these things you can easily learn okay but even though if you are not technical background we are going to look more here docker kubernetes terraform cic jenkins azure devops especially so you are going to get a more knowledge wide variety of knowledge after learning this course okay and this is about i showed you the azure cloud entire thing the same thing if you go with the diagrammatically i showed you like you know this is the cloud and inside you know uh, around wide variety of 300 340 3, 300 to 340 services azure is providing keep on these services are increasing day by day keep on these services are increasing day by day so here see you are into containers we are going to more focus here containers devops related some services container related services database related services yes we are going to more focus here and networking related services so these are all learning about the services okay so networking this is nothing but the cloud simple guys okay so if you understand this this is cake work for you okay for understanding this okay so tomorrow if anyone so first of all when you are trying to deliver things uh, deliver something so it should be come from your mind right so that's why first visualize your mind okay so whatever the concept so become as a child okay just visualize yourself especially for non technical guys okay so uh, so many resources learning you know uh, personally uh, i'm i'm training okay I even trained also uh, so clearly their background from ba bcom and mba like you know they working as a like, you know, banks they are as a customer care executives and as well as like you know uh, btech uh, electronics and uh, something mechanical mtech so many things so don't worry so we'll start with very slowly and we can go till above intermediate level okay so this is exactly very like you know basic introduction about uh, the course everything what you are going to learn 
and exactly about the cloud and about the like you know azure devops yeah the final point i want to explain you now what is the word azure devops this is not correct so this is correct this for this course devops azure means your front face would be devops and you are going to like you know implement your devops knowledge or devops technology whatever you learn with azure cloud tomorrow it might be you can change your resume with the devops to devops plus you can make it aws right then you can make it as aws then aws devops uh, plus gcp you can become the gcp devops devops with gcp engineer okay but this is like a separate thing it is little bit you know advanced one okay this is not required to discuss here okay so that's why so both are same almost but here we are focusing more into devops tools core devops tools because if you want to go with even tomorrow aws you should know about this if you want to go with gcp you should know about this that's why so this course is what this course is devops plus azure so you are going to front face would be always devops so please please don't become front face would be azure or gcp don't go with azure administration azure solution architect or AWS because you are going to be specific okay but now if you like you know if you are strong in devops tools see you are going to get three types of jobs and even cloud exposure tomorrow based on this knowledge you can add separately at azure and you know devops pipelines manager uh, like uh, manager or uh, i mean as a lead or suppose if you want to go with as a developer also this is the place where you are going to more focus here here i am going to give you very brief introduction and end to end one small project from development stage to like you know from development and uh, to till delivery okay so till delivery i am going to each and every phase very clearly okay so you can consider that is a small project i am saying that is not a big and huge but a small project first you should be in the position to implement yourself end to end then it will be cake work for you in interviews so if you start with small only don't think about big big will be you can think later okay after you know after you you, you feel comfortable on these tools and all here devops is nothing guys in a single line okay so how you are going to like you know utilizing the tools in cloud so if you put only devops tools separately it is difficult to like you know get your job so that's why go with any cloud why because then it will be cake work for you and it will be like more visually even though if you are not from you don't have any experience if you don't have any you are from the technical back non-technical background so here if you see uh, implementing the thing is little bit easy see uh, compared to like you know uh, on premise suppose if you see the pipeline okay so let me show this this is this is a pipeline okay so so if you open this pipeline pipeline is uh, like you know nothing but let me show you not this uh, okay i just go with this see see this is what this see this is the pipeline okay so this is the steps okay if you see here build stage dev and deploy stage qa deploy stage okay so this is build one development stage and uh, uh, this is quality qa right quality assurance so later you can add other so this is we can call it as a pipeline how you are going to do these things like you know uh, everything uh, you are going to uh, learn how you are uh, by using this devops tools okay by using this uh, devops tools so just uh, give me uh, one minute uh, I already opened this. That also I will show you. Then it will be. I feel happy. Okay, maybe I covered everything. One minute. Yeah. So this is what exactly. See. So this is entire DevOps is here. Please understand. This is a little bit old diagram, but okay, fine. So this is two years back, I think, but still fine. See, if you understand, if you look into this diagram, this is what I implemented here, just for uh, time being. So this is the pipeline. You can say this is kind of technical implementation. This is what this is a visualization okay so this is the visualization this is visualization if you see so this is developers okay so this is your uh, project okay on premise like in our company your organization you joined as a developer right and you completed your code this is entire see devops is this one only so i will tell you exactly the three types of jobs and all where you are going to fit okay so this is the devops engine so or this is a java developers concept not java so this is the java developers and they, they completed their task or they completed their work after that every day end of the day they are going to push the code to this git so git okay so it is going to uh, push into the git repository 
from the git repository right you know uh, it is going to then here jenkins tool is there right so i told you so here uh, here yeah this one okay jenkins and azure devops okay so here if you see the same thing here i added so here jenkins right so when developer when developer uh, uh, push the code push the code developer push the code to the git repository then here you can use jenkins or you can use uh, azure devops uh, pipelines whatever it may be so he is going to fetch the code you know he is going to fetch the code from the git repository and he is going to like you know jenkins or azure devops pipelines and he is go automatically it is going to generate you know your uh, it is going to build your project and it is going to like you know uh, package your project make it jar and after that it is going to convert into this image right here you are going to docker you are going to use imaging as a docker container after that that image is going to deploy into your kubernetes cluster right and here you can use uh, for automation like you can use either you know terraform or ansible but we are going to focus here terraform right then end of here nagios right monitoring continuous monitoring so here here we can call it as we can call it as you know uh, prometheus or grafana okay so here we are going to use this is end to end devops tools where you are going to focus here if you see docker and kubernetes suppose if you want to if you don't want to involve in pipeline like you know kind of thing you just showcase yourself here docker and kubernetes terraform engineer so you are going to get work here otherwise you are going to very strong in this azure devops pipeline so like here so ui ui based azure devops pipelines if you are expert then you are going to showcase your resume more okay resume more into this guy okay so here so complete end to end pipeline so you are responsibility is you are little bit strong in shell scripting powershell or python whatever scripting base so you can focus here in the pipeline but you should know about this as a devops engineer later monitoring so you are very comfortable in the monitoring like you know prometheus grafana how you are going to monitoring end to end so everything like you know these three types of jobs you will get here but you are now end up after completing this course you will be strong in each and every place and you are going to like you know deliver the answers in the interview then definitely it will be helpful to you your career okay so this is what exactly you are going to implement at the end of the or after completing all the tools and cloud you are going to implement like this this is exactly what you are going to learn as a devops engineer you should know about this okay this is the entire story guys okay so now uh, that is that's all from my end if you have any questions now ask me Yeah, you can ask me any question. If you have. Uh, how is it going to be with uh, hands-on? Uh, whether it require any specific, uh, you know, uh, for the laptop uh, configuration? No, no, stuff? no, no. I told you right. Already, I told you. So you don't require anything. Simple. You, your personal laptop. You need one. You know, Azure cloud. You know, Azure account. I will show you in the next class how to create that and all. You just create that Azure free trial account. That's it. If you have internet access, you can easily like you know practice your lab. There is nothing required apart from this. Okay. Is Terraform and Ansible same? No, no. Uh, actually, uh, both are. Terraform is for you know for infrastructure, you, uh, automating your uh, infrastructure either in that is on premise or cloud. But Ansible, like you know, uh, you can uh, use for more into like you know, uh, configuration management, like bulk installation, bulk deployments, and also you can do the kind of IT operations. But we are not focusing that Ansible. Uh, yeah, we are more because uh, Terraform is you now ruling the market, so that's why uh, we are focusing on Terraform. But uh, Git is also for uh, version controlling, right? Yeah, Git is for source code management tool. Yes, uh, yeah, you can you can use for you know Git or some other tools, but we are uh, focusing Git, Git and GitHub. Yeah, we have any questions? Other questions, guys? Please. Yeah, that uh, pipe, hello that pipeline thing once uh, can you repeat sir pipeline cicd 
Yeah. Yeah, actually, see, this is the entire uh, DevOps here. If you see, uh, here as a like you know developer, okay. So after completing the code, they are going to push the code to uh, Git repository. That is the source code management tool. So from Git, they are going to uh, like uh, push the code to GitHub. Okay, so that is the Git uh, remote repository. So where uh, this Jenkins and Azure DevOps pipelines, anything, either Jenkins or Azure DevOps, they are going to connect okay they are going to connect they are going to fetch the code whatever the push the code from the git repository they are going to get from actual like you know devops engineer role will stop uh, starts here okay so because uh, the fetching the code and the creating this pipeline with jenkins after that after fe fetching the code okay you know, jenkins or azure devops pipeline it is going to build the code package the code then it is going to create like you know image like if you add the containerization as a docker is going to create an image right so by using that image you are going to deploy that image into the kubernetes cluster so this is common these two steps are common so you should know about this very well okay after that uh, for mon for the same thing manual you can do it and even by using terraform you can completely whatever uh, uh, fetching the code and you know everything you can make it uh, till deployment uh, by using this terraform script that way i will show you that is automation way. This is manual way. Finally, everything you can going to monitor in this uh, uh, by using uh, not Nagios, Prometheus, and uh, uh, Grafana for monitoring and logging. This is the end-to-end, -end, you know, uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions, guys? Yeah, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you so much.